Alright, so today I'll be showing you some basic swing in Java or GUI without a visual editor. So, to do this, you download a Java editor such as Eclipse, Dr. Java, NetBeams, anything, and you just create a new project. And I'm just going to use Eclipse. You can call it anything, I'll call it Swing. And in this, you create a new class file. If you're doing a Swing project, you're going to need multiple class files, so be sure to name these a separate name, but I'm just going to call it Swing for now and put these in the swing folder of your main project. Now, now you have your basic outline. So, to do swing, first we have to import javax.swing.star. The star means that everything under the javax.swing category. Now we're going to create a main class. If you're familiar with um, basic Java programming, you would know what I'm doing here, but this is not intended for basic Java programmers. So if you if you know all this, then you you're good to go. So be, now what, what we're going to do is we're going to create the main frame object. So to create the frame object, we just go J frame, and you can call the frame object anything. I'll just call it frame is equal to new J frame. Now this this frame will be okay. So now we just make the frame, and I'm just going to do that in a sec. And J frame, we can call it anything. Frame is equal to new J frame. And then in the brackets, you give your frame a title. So the title is what comes up in the top right here. So we'll just call this one test. Now there's some things you have to do with the J frame before it can be shown. First is we have to set it to visible. So just go frame dot set visible. And then in the brackets, put true because you want it visible. Next, you want to set the size of the frame. So J frame dot set size and just put 200 200 so that just means 200 pixels by 200 pixels and the last thing we have to do is j frame dot set uh, close set default close operation and that is j frame dot exit on close so all that does is when you click that X at the top right, it closes the J-frame or else it would keep running in the memory of the system and you don't want it to clog up the system like that. So now we have a frame ready. So right now if we run this object or this program, we should see a frame in the as the uh, running object. And Sure enough, we see this frame right here. So, next what we want to do is we want to put a put something inside the frame, such as a label or a box, object, anything. So you can put anything. For example, it's very easy. Just like you made the frame, you just make the label. J label label is equal to new J label. And same way, you just in the brackets you just put whatever you want to put so hello okay so this just makes a frame but to put something inside our frame we have to actually literally add it to the frame but before we do that we need to make a panel now what a panel is is that it stores something it stores items inside this frame so j panel panel is equal to new j panel and We'll just leave that those brackets blank for now. So now we have a new panel. Now we go to the frame, frame dot add, and we add this panel. So now our panel has been added to the frame, and now we add the we add the uh, label to the panel. So panel dot add label. Okay. So now the label has been added to the panel. Now check it out. It says the it has the panel inside and it has the label. And now you can even add something else called a button, which is which is a J button. J button button is equal to new J button. Again, just write it here. So whatever you want, we'll put hello again and go panel dot add button. 
and now I'll play it again and now we have our hello and our hello again so this with this you can keep adding as many things as you want to your label and they will continuously get added to the label so it's it's actually really easy so you just have to know that um, you just create every object like a J label or J button or frame and then you can add stuff to the you can take that stuff and add it to the main frame inside of a panel now in the next video we're gonna talk about how, how to arrange objects onto this panel so if we wanted the hello again at the bottom and the hello at the top we'll tell you how you can arrange it like that okay so that's just uh, heads up for the next video in the video after that we'll talk about action listeners like what happens when I click this hello again okay so thanks for watching stay tuned because I got some big stuff